Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify here, and I hope you're having a a good day, a reasonable day, a day that's better than uh, the woman in the story that we are about to read. As we go through the story, I want you to keep one thing in your mind, and that one thing is that Kamala Harris, the current vice president of the United States of America is also the current border czar. She is in charge of finding, not just finding the root causes of the illegal immigration and solving them, but also just the border in general. Mullah Harris, responsible for the border. I mean, Joe Biden as well, but he's, he's off in la-la land at the beach. He's just a head of lettuce getting some sun. Before we go into this story here, it's, it's actually quite a serious story, quite shocking. Um, do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. This video that you're watching right now, by, by YouTube standards, it's deemed hate content or harmful content. I tell them I'm just doing the news and they say, yeah, we know. We don't care. So. Do subscribe on Rumble. That's the most important thing. Um, a woman, 46 years old, was brutally raped at knife point by a migrant at famed boardwalk as another held back her boyfriend. This story is so sick and so shocking that during the conversation that Donald Trump had with Elon Musk on, on X, Donald Trump brought this crime up repeatedly. This crime has the attention of Donald Trump. It is, a, it is a very clear symbol of what is happening in America, what is happening in New York, what's going on with all the illegal immigration. I mean, there's hundreds of, of stories that are just as brutal as this. Lake and Riley is, is, a, is a classic example of what's happening to, to women. What's also what's happening to men because of the illegal migrants coming in, the, the illegal criminal aliens. I can't, I can't even fathom that. That's to me, that's, that's some worst, like worst nightmare territory. I think there was a, there was, um, there was a film, uh, was it law abiding citizen with Gerard Butler. Didn't, wasn't he held down? Well, while his wife was like brutally raped and ult ultimately murdered, and then he 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 goes crazy and and you know gets gets revenge. This is this story is nearly just as bad. I can't I can't imagine what that would be like being helpless while while the person you love, the love of your life, is is being ravaged. So a woman was raped at knife point by a suspected migrant next to the Coney Island boardwalk in New York over the weekend, while another asylum seeker, they're criminal illegal aliens, they're not seeking asylum from anywhere, they're just bastards, fought off her boyfriend, it is claimed. The unprovoked attack reportedly happened outside a hotel housing asylum seekers Sunday around 9 p.m and has since resulted in rumored Nicaraguan migrant David Devon Banilla, 24, and 37-year-old Mexican Leovendo Moreno's arrest. So these people were just out and about, and there happened to be a, a hotel housing the migrants? You're saying a lot of crime happens ar around where the migrants are being housed. Maybe that's why the... the um, British population, the Anglos, uh, as Count Dankula says, uh, he says the Anglos are mad. Maybe that is why they are starting to burn them down. Now, I, of course, don't burn anything down. Don't do that. But now maybe you can understand why they chose to do it. The victim, an unnamed 46-year-old who insiders told the New York Post is homeless, was with her boyfriend when the attack happened. As cops revealed, the crime occurred on Surf Avenue and 16th Street. So the victim doesn't get a house, but all the people who are illegals, they came in, they get housing. Isn't that crazy? Do you know, 
Do you know the percentage of of um, illegal migrants that are are criminals? The answer is a hundred percent. One hundred percent of them are criminals because they're here illegally. But they get the housing, they get the debit cards, they get the uh, the food, they get the um, whatever it is that they need. They get even a slap on the wrists when they break the law. Marino is said to have struck the 34-year-old man with an unidentified object during the chaos as he tried to save his significant other, while the woman who reportedly lives under the boardwalk was allegedly violated by Devon Benilla. He is charged with first-degree rape, second-degree assault, first-degree sexual abuse, menacing and criminal possession of a weapon while his accomplice was charged with assault and criminal possession of a weapon for his fending off of the male victim. This guy with those charges should theoretically be sent to jail for uh, a really long time, quite possibly the rest of his life. That's of course, if he got the maximum. Devon Benilla was pegged as a Nicaraguan migrant by law enforcement sources who spoke to the New York Post after cops confirmed he had a prior arrest for sex abuse for allegedly assaulting a 34-year-old woman in Brooklyn last year. He was here illegally. Sexually assaulted a woman in New York and Brooklyn last year. And what did they do? They let him out? Now, this is going to be one of one of Donald Trump's things, whether whether you you like Donald Trump or you don't like Donald Trump. Irrelevant to the point that I'm making here is that he says he's going to have the largest deportation effort. Possible, and that's going to start because they're going to do what's possible, he says, right? They're going to start with if you um, if you're an illegal criminal alien and you do a crime and we arrest you, we're not going to do anything with you other than send you back. We're not going to put you in an American jail or even do any of that stuff. We don't want you. We have you. You've done the crime. We got you. You're just going to go back. If that happened, if this policy was in play, these two victims in this crime would have been spared. Like, it's simple as. Sources told the Post how he once lived at the La Quinta Hotel on 3rd Avenue, which was also repurposed into a migrant shelter amid the influx of recent arrivals. Send them all back. Cut off the money and say, listen, the gravy train or the gravy boat, the, the thing in which you receive your money gravy is over. It's done. Goodbye. You have the choice of we're going to catch you or you can flee back to, to wherever you came from. That needs to happen. It was there. A law enforcement insider said that another victim, a 34-year-old woman, was raped and sodomized by Devon Vanilla on April 23rd, 2023, four months after he reportedly entered the country. So they come here and immediately look around and they're like, oh, what's going on? What's this? What's this? Do, 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 do. I can do all the crime in the world. Four months. And he's raping and sodomizing a poor young woman in Brooklyn. And then they let him go so he can do it again. The source did not say why the suspect was allowed to remain in the U.S. following his release in relation to that case. Well, that's because Kamala Harris the borders are. That's what we started this video with. We are remembering Kamala Harris is the borders are. They don't care. They don't care about you. They, they don't care at all because this, this is going to be likely, even though he's illegal and doesn't belong, he's likely going to be a voter because, you know, they're doing that nonsense. The hotel near the crime scene, meanwhile, is located right by the boardwalk where the more recent victim is said to reside and feet away from the Brooklyn Cyclones ballpark and the famed first ever Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs location. So this isn't exactly 
a deserted area. These people have the audacity, the gall to, to do very serious crime right out in the open. Not too long ago, I covered a story about how in New York, in, in, in one of the big parks that New York has, it was lunchtime for, for two students in a nearby school. And, and a migrant had a, had a knife. And he used their shoelaces to like hog tie the, the, the young boy. And then, and then he brutally and violently raped at knife point the, the girl. And then he left them there and, and went on his merry way. This is, this is damn near the same thing. The street is thus often crowded with locals and tourists. Both men were arrested shortly after parting ways with a pair while still near the famed footpath. The Daily Mail has reached out to the NYPD for more information as both suspects were set to be arraigned sometime Monday. But sources familiar with the matter told uh, the New York Post that Devon Vanilla demanded sex from the victim in this case, resulting in the violent altercation. They also said the woman was taken to Coney Island Hospital following her ordeal, where she was said to be in stable condition. Thank heavens for that. But her boyfriend refused medical attention. As for the woman, whose the sources told New York Post, um, she settled under the boardwalk after arriving from out of state. Her status as of Monday remained unknown. She was allegedly forced to the ground during the attack. This all happened as Devon Vanilla held a knife to her throat before violating her as her helpless boyfriend and his alleged accomplice fought. So this, this guy's trying to get to, to the female victim. He's trying to get to his, his significant other, obviously, as, as anyone would. And uh, bad guy number two is holding him up as of the writing of this article, the incident, the incident is still under investigation with more details likely to come out in court. Both suspects were said to be migrants by the insiders who spoke to the New York Post. The cops have yet to confirm. Sources also say that um, Devon Benilla entered the U.S. illegally through Texas in December 2022, while Marino's journey into the country remains less clear. The NYPD did not immediately respond to Daily Mail's request for more information. So this incident, it comes the same day that a Venezuelan migrant accused of leading the attack against NYPD officers in uh, Times Square earlier this year was arrested again. He should have been deported. He beat up cops in Times Square. They should have grabbed him by the scruff of his neck, and sent him packing. Send him back to Venezuela, send him into the ocean, put him in a wood chip or wherever, send him somewhere that's not America. But they didn't. And as a result of the inaction of the current American administration, we have him doing more crime. So he was arrested again, this time for theft. And weeks after, a suspected illegal was arrested for the rape of a 13-year-old girl in a New York City park. That's the story I was alluded to. Or I was alluding to with the, with the knife and he hogtied them with shoelaces. Like, it's getting out of hand. I mean, I think out of hand happened, like, quite a while ago. It's unsustainable. It's catastrophically out of hand at this point. I, I don't know. I don't know what's what's going to happen. I don't know what else has to happen in order for, I don't know, um, Americans to, I don't know, get angry like the Brits. I don't know. I don't know if that will ever happen. I suspect if 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 um, something were to happen and Trump not win in the election, shadow campaign or something, um, four more years of this, that could, that could be a breaking point. Anyways, um, I guess thoughts and prayers or whatever to uh, this woman who was brutally raped at knife point by an illegal criminal alien as um, another illegal criminal alien fought her boyfriend and he was basically had to be forced to watch his significant other be brutally raped by another dude. I, that would break my brain. Thank you.
for uh, watching this video. This this hate content, this harmful content, as what YouTube says. So again, do like, subscribe, share, all of those things. But most importantly, follow me on Rumble, where um, that's probably where this channel's future lies. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.